In this illustrative tutorial, let's take a look at how to change the background color. Now you might be talking about your interface, so to change that you go to Illustrator down to Settings. This might be in the Edit dropdown if you're on PC. And then we're going to find Interface or User Interface. We can change the user interface from dark to light right here. We can also change the canvas color to white, or we can allow it to match the brightness. I like to stay on this medium dark and match brightness. Now the next thing you might be trying to do is changing your artboard color. So there's two different ways you can do that. One is that you change it, but it's still transparent. The other is you actually change the color. Let's take a look at how to change it so it's still transparent. So especially if you want to work with white objects on your artboard, obviously a white background is tough to look at. The first thing you could do is go to the view dropdown and look at the transparency grid. So this is going to show everywhere that it's transparent. That's one way to do it, but you can actually change the color of your artboard. So let's hide that transparency grid. We'll go up to File, down to Document Setup. Inside of Document Setup, this color right here if we have checkmarked simulate colored paper is the color of the paper. We can change this to whatever we want. Let's say we wanted to do a yellow, or maybe we just want to drag this slider over to make it almost black. We could do that too. And then just hit exit on this. It's going to change that top color. We're simulating paper color or colored paper and press OK. Now it might not do anything. I think that's a glitch here in Illustrator, but I found it to work if I go up to view and click Overprint Preview, and then uncheck Overprint Preview. For whatever reason, it kind of takes that to show it here in Illustrator. But now, you can actually see that we have an artboard color change. And if we go to View, down to Show Transparency Grid, it's going to show that transparency grid with the paper color as the darker dot. This is kind of hard to look at, so I'm going to go back and hide that transparency grid but I can work on this and create objects on this. And when I export this artboard, that artboard is still transparent. But what if you wanted it to be an actual color? So to do that, first, let's get us back to normal, document setup, and then the uh, grid colors, I'm gonna change to light, and uncheck simulate colored paper, press okay. And then of course, gotta get that glitch, over print preview on and off. There we go, now we're back to our basic artboard. To change the color background here, you actually need to create a shape. So we're gonna use the rectangle tool, click and drag from the top corner to the right. If you have a bleed, you would go from the bleed edge to edge. And now we have a shape out here on our artboard. And this is actually going to export or save as a background color. Now in our layers panel, what I like to do, see we have a contents layer that I renamed I can create a new layer and double click on the layer name and call that background. And I could actually take the rectangle and click and drag it to the background layer. I can even take the background layer and drag it underneath the contents. And I could drag it a little bit further to make sure it's not nested in the contents. And then I could lock that background layer. This is what I do on all the thumbnails on this channel, is I have a background layer and I lock it. Then I click on my contents layer and I create things on top of that. So that's how to change the background color and artboard color here in Adobe Illustrator.